So we open with Holly entering Paul's apartment, um, oh, and immediately we see that uh, Edwards, no, the director, this, utilizes a lighting well, technique in which only half of her face is exposed morning, and the other half yeah. is shadowed. Uh, he does this to try to oh, um, create this impression that there are two sides to Holly as a character, uh, which are two sides that we'll continue to see throughout the, the mean, rest of the scene. Drunk, Holly is also on the window cell of the um, apartment to kind of express like the emotional the narrative window. of the scene. Because even though physically she's looking into the room, we as an audience are also looking into her as a character no, for the first time in the film. Um, when Holly finally enters the room, home. it's a big step What's for her as she feels comfortable with nice. Paul. Um, and Edwards uh, reflects People this by using a larger camera angle and longer shot to kind of express this well, liberation. We see Holly is dressed in a white robe. Uh, this is a use of mise-en-scene by Edwards to try to and use the, the costuming and the clothing to reflect Small the emotional morning, um, aspects of, the, yeah, of these characters. Um, the white color, it, for instance, helps to reflect you know this idea sweet. of purity yeah. and convey this almost virginal aspect of Holly. Like but Fred. this continual contrast and theme of who really is Holly, oh. is she the good or is she the bad, uh, continues in the scene as we immediately see Holly um, begin to smoke a cigarette drunk. and later in the scene she'll begin to drink some if alcohol as well and so these sinful okay, actions the help to contrast oh, her like pure Fred, and innocent demeanor and uh, physical angry. appearance uh, and this again is Edward's use of mise-en-scene um, and other completely. framing techniques to try to depict okay, this contrast within her character. You'll also, you also notice that you Paul is uh, staged in the scene very close I mean, uh, very to late. the camera. Uh, no and this kind of creates the effect that he's almost uh, one with the audience. He's well, another audience member. Words, um, he's also shadowed in this scene. Because director Blake else. Edwards really Everybody wants to focus no, only mind. on Holly. Because, the again, the narrative and purpose and of this moment mind. in the film is really to delve deeper into who she is as, as a character. So anyway? we don't necessarily right focus right, much on him, and that's par and mostly in part yes, due to know? Edward's um, okay. framing Positive techniques. And so really we see all the lighting and all the focus right. go to Holly. Um, additionally, a big trend in the 1950s and, for and 40s and 60s was this use of high-key lighting by directors. And what high-key lighting right. did is create this effect that the actors and the characters are glowing in a sense. Um, and in this it scene, Edward uses, utilizes the high key lighting to kind of make his characters even more yeah. glamorous, more beautiful, oh, which helps his well, ultimate purpose of really depicting a very classic, very Nine traditional, and very glamorous and beautiful romance Those. story mm -hmm. set in Nine. New York City with these two characters. So thank you very much, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this.